Stephanie Amayana Shed bringing you another edition of PNC's Road Report. Here today we are on Route 1 and Route 14 intersection in Tamuning, one of the busiest highways on the island. Some of you may have noticed the road pavements have deteriorated over the years. So we wanted to check in with DPW Director Vincent Ariola to see what their plans are to address this issue. Let's check it out. Well, we have the, that project is, is going to be coming out uh, real soon. Mm -hmm. We are going to do a complete road paving, road resurfacing. Mm -hmm. we've, got, uh, we've got new ingredients mm -hmm. <laughs> and new, new, new uh, paving surfaces that include uh, there are certain fibers to, to basically make, make, the, uh, make the asphalt stick uh, mm -hmm. a, a little bit better and a little bit stronger. Drivers rely heavily on signage and road markings to direct and guide. Therefore, keeping road pavement markings maintained and visible is vital to motorists and pedestrian safety. According to Areola, motorists may look forward to new technology to improve the standard of driving on the island. You'll basically see them on the road. Uh, and they're going to be blue blue lights that 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 flash when uh, that in in uh, in addition to the to the red light. So when the traffic light starts to turn red, you'll see on the on the on the roadway uh, blue lights that flash. Yeah. So that uh, let's see, um, and that's basically at the crosswalks, mm -hmm. uh, in front of the crosswalks. So you see that at Kmart. Uh, we're probably going to do ITC intersection, uh, Chamorro Village area. These road pavement improvements are part of a major road project to be conducted along Route 14 and Route 1 all the way to Archbishop Felix Berto Flores Circle. According to Areola, they are currently working on finding contractors and the appropriate funding to officially start the project. Uh, total resurfacing, uh, um, some construction uh, uh, of uh, some of the, the access points uh, to some of the businesses. Uh, some have to be widened, uh, uh, the, the corners have to be uh, smoothened out, uh, storm water drains also have to be uh, uh, adjusted uh, and things of that nature. So it, it, it involves not just paving but construction as well. As soon as construction kicks off, motorists traveling within this area may experience increased traffic and delays. Traffic flow is going to be a huge issue. Uh, you know, and we'll, we'll work with the businesses, we'll work with the mayor, we'll work with the contractors to make everything as, as efficient and smooth as possible. And that wraps it up for your weekly road report, right here on PNC News First. I'm Ayana Shed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again real soon.